Sudipto Mandel is our next presenter. His title, Improving Performance of Aerospace Materials Using Integrated Computational Materials Engineering. One of the grand challenges in the material science community today is reducing the time from conception to production of new materials, and that is typically 20 years. However, the product design or development cycles are much faster. That is because the product design follows a top-down approach in which you go from an aircraft into its individual components. However, material science is intrinsically a bottom-up approach in which you walk your way from electrons and atoms to crystals. This creates a gap in our understanding where these two disciplines interact. My PhD thesis aims to bridge this gap by multi-scale models using the Integrated Computational Materials Engineering, or ICME, approach. One of the main tenets of ICME is the quantification of the relationship between processing, microstructure, and properties. Now, microstructure modeling is vital here because it connects information from the atomic scale to the properties at the structural scale. Now, conventionally, microstructures are analyzed by examining the top surface under a microscope. But, as the old saying goes, never judge a book by its cover or in this case, a microstructure by just its top surface. Like everything else in the world, microstructures exist in three dimensions, and our group uses high-energy X-ray sources to probe the 3D structure. That allows us to create digital 3D representations of the microstructures, which can be used in higher scale design models. Another example of multi-scale modeling is the uh, modeling of uh, dislocations or defects within a material. During mechanical processing, the dislocations move, but they move only one atomic spacing at a time. In that sense, dislocations are like caterpillars, and microstructure can be thought of as a box full of caterpillars. But dislocations are much faster than caterpillars. So when do they stop moving? When they hit the walls of the box, or grain boundaries, or when they hit other poor caterpillars stuck in the box, or forest dislocations. Our model simulates this motion using both physical laws and data informatics to predict the material response. In summary, an integration of advanced characterization techniques with data-driven computational models allows us to make better and faster predictions about material behavior. Thank you.